Okay, now we have our slides back again. So organizing a conference is apparently uh, a lot of work and many, many administrative things are involved like uh, booking conference hotels, negotiating the rates, organizing the food, finding the venue, organizing, uh, uh, basically organizing everything around it, like sponsoring and so on and so forth. And I would like to thank my, uh, my team, uh, to be honest, that did the vast majority of the work. So this is Karina. You will find her on the desk. She basically did, I would say, 90% of the work. And the rest uh, supported her where, where she actually, or where we actually could. So please thank them all. And whenever you have questions or problems or issues, please approach one of these people with the nice uh, orange shirts. Uh, I mean, you see some of them in the back uh, in case you have questions. Uh, people are usually interested in statistics. It's nice that we could essentially stop the, um, a bit the downtrend of TCC participants, right? So basically in 2018, uh, we reached the low with almost 100 participants, and now we are back to 136, I think, with uh, 16 registration in the past two days. Um, that you attend this conference is actually very important, right? At the, at the business meeting at the ICR, people asked why are all people actually going to other conferences and TCCs going down, as so your, your attendance here is, is very important. We have a very nice program, thanks to the awesome work of the program chairs. <laughs> Dennis, uh, Dennis and Alain. The coffee breaks and the lunch will basically provide it or will, will be outside, so you find everything there. Regarding your talks, please uh, visit the, or please go to the rum session chair, sorry, to, the, uh, to, to your program chair, meet them before, and let's try that the technique works better than, uh, than it did in my case. The rum session we already presented to you. The dinner will be on Tuesday, as, I, as we said, the, uh, the place is actually sold out. In case you don't have time to show up, please let us know, then we can give out the vouchers to, uh, to other people that are not able to, to get one. We have planned four excursions, and most of them were also quickly sold out. Um, one of us will always be there to help you. The first one is the castle, so please see Vicky Honger uh, if you have any questions. The second one are the Nuremberg trials. This will be with Dominic Deuber and, uh, and myself. The third one are the, rock, are the rock cut sellers, and Karina will help you there. The fourth one is the documentation center, and Christoph Egger will actually be uh, the person to contact. So I want to spend just, just one minute more about uh, what, what was Germany actually famous for, what, what, uh, what can you see here. So the map you see here are actually the breweries, the breweries that you can see uh, find in Germany. And there is Nuremberg, and as you can see, we have the highest densities of breweries. So please go around and try the different uh, types of, of beers. We are also very famous uh, for the Christkindles market. It was mentioned for the first time in 1628. It's usually open from 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. And if you want to bring some, uh, some presents for your relatives, we are very famous also for the, for the Lebkuchen, basically the gingerbread. And now it's my, uh, my, my honor to welcome our president who took the time to come here, Achim Hornegger. Oops, I don't want to see my picture. <laughs> Sorry. So a warm welcome to Erlangen, a warm welcome to Nuremberg. As a representative of the board of the Friedrich Alexander Universität, FIU, FAU, I warmly welcome you here in the wonderful city of Nuremberg. Please apologize that I was a few minutes late. I was stuck in the traffic because you know the daily commute, and uh, in particular on Mondays, it's quite hard to get uh, to the city of, of Nuremberg. So a warm welcome to FAU. FAU is a very traditional university here in Germany. We are 276 years old. We were founded in 1743 in the city of Erlangen. Margrave Friedrich uh, was the founder of our university, and in 1961, the business school of Nuremberg was linked to our university, and since then, we are the Friedrich Alexander Universität Erlangen Nuremberg, located uh, here in the metropolitan region. 
The FAU is uh, one out of ten of, of the ten largest universities in Germany. We have 40,000 students here in the metropolitan region. We have more than 14,000 employees at our university, including our university hospital, and we have round about 600 hundred, uh, professors in our system. In terms of organization, our university is a full-spectrum university covering a wide range of different fields. It's uh, just, um, or it's the, it's a full spectrum comprehensive university and uh, there are just two in Germany, the University of Bochum and our university and we offer more than 250 bachelors and masters program. So uh, you can imagine that the strength of our university is also uh, cross-disciplinary collaboration and uh, that's also what we stand for. And having a full spectrum university and talking about profile of the university, that's also quite, quite a challenge. And uh, we are, uh, in terms of innovation power, also in a very unique environment. Um, here in the metropolitan region, innovation is something that we have in our genes. We have a lot of uh, larger companies you are familiar with. For instance, we have the Siemens company here in the metropolitan region, Siemens Health Engineers Healthcare. The headquarter is just uh, walking distance to my office. We have uh, Siemens Energy Division, Siemens Industry Division. All these uh, core businesses of Siemens are here in the metropolitan region. We have also the Adidas company, you know the sports company, they also stand for innovation in their business. We have the Puma company, we have Scheffler, uh, automobile supplier company, more than uh, 100,000 employees. And we have strong links between the university and our industry partners here. And uh, it turns out that FAU is pretty strong in uh, supporting the innovation process. Currently we are in terms of patents, uh, uh, citations of our basic research results in patents, uh, citations of our patents in other patents, the usage of our patents, patent application success rates, and things like that. We are number one in Germany, so there is no other university that uh, supports the innovation process like we do at FAU. And uh, we are Europe-wide, we are number two listed right after KU Leuven and worldwide we are listed number 14. And uh, this uh, shows to you that the link between basic research and industry is something that we uh, understand and support in a way that is unique. If you talk about the region, you also have to mention if you are uh, in this wonderful museum here, that the first train connection in Germany was here in between the cities of Nuremberg and Fürth, Nürn Nuremberg and Fürth, that's a distance of a few kilometers, and the first train connection was built in this area, and that's also the reason why uh, the uh, train museum is here located in the city of Nuremberg. So um, mobility is a topic that is in the focus of the, regions, of the region for many, many years. Other aspects, uh, Dominic has already mentioned, we have the highest density of microbreweries in the area. That's one thing that is uh, quite interesting for visitors. And talking about profile of the university, our humanities uh, are uh, very much focused on human rights research because here is the cradle of human rights, the basic uh, concepts for human rights and the so-called Völkerrecht uh, was, uh, or the international right uh, or international law, uh, the, the basic concepts were um, worked out here at our, uni at our uh, city of Nuremberg, next to our university, and you will also uh, visit here the locations where the trials have been after World War, after World War II. So that's a very historic uh, situation and it's some kind of natural that also our university is taking this unique embedding here, uh, putting human rights into uh, its research focus. So there is a lot we can offer, exciting, exciting times. Uh, you are here to talk about the theory of cryptography, uh, one uh, challenging topic in computer science 
By training, I'm also a computer scientist. I'm in the field of uh, pattern recognition. Our computer science uh, department was founded in 1966. It's one of the first computer science departments in, in Germany and uh, currently also one of the largest ones in terms of the number of professors uh, and staff members. And I'm, I'm very happy to host international researchers in this demanding field. And I really hope that you enjoy your time here in Nuremberg. I hope that you will have uh, exciting discussions, scientific discussions, but I also hope that you will have some time to experience the wonderful city of Nuremberg and uh, all the things uh, this wonderful city offers to our visitors. So take your time, enjoy the conference, enjoy FAU, enjoy Nuremberg. All the best and please come back soon. Thank you very much.